Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dupree, and today I'm back with another video, uh, and this one is on where the cue ball will go after it is contacted, after it contacts an object ball. Uh, and this is just a very uh, fun little tool right here from poolshot.org that they asked me to use uh, in my video, and it just helps explain where the balls will go after you shoot. Uh, and I'll tell you where you can get this later, uh, poolshot.org, but I'll, I'll explain more about it later. But you see, you have your object ball, which is where we set the object ball on. This is the ghost ball position, so where the cue ball needs to contact this ball in order to make it follow that line. And then we have different degrees, as you see. Uh, so this first one, we're just going to talk about this one right now. This is called the tangent line. Uh, so that means it's 90 degrees from where the object ball is going. So let's say we're cutting this seven ball in. That means that our cue ball will contact the ghost ball position, go 90 degrees from the seven ball, down this tangent line right here. Uh, as you see, if you use center ball. So if we hit it completely at the center, you see our cue ball draws, it doesn't draw along it, but it goes across uh, that tangent line, 90 degrees. Now it also works with other angles. It works with every angle in the game. So let's say we want to cut it this way. It's going to go 90 degrees along that tangent line if we use center ball. Now also you see this bottom half. The bottom half is for draw angles. And what they do is they also send you this little sheet right here. Yeah, it gives you this rule, and it says right here, to determine the cue ball path with maximum draw, multiply the cut shot angle value by 3. So if we're cutting the ball 30 degrees, so if our cue ball is coming from this line right here, then our draw angle will be 90 degrees. So we will draw along the 90 degree line, which is the tangent line. So if we're cutting at 30 degrees, we're drawing along the tangent line. And that actually leads us right to this corner pocket. And if we're cutting at 0 degrees, 0 times 30 is 0. So we're cutting at 0 degrees, so we're going to draw across the 0 line. Just like that. It kind of jumps a little bit on the protractor. You're not supposed to use the protractor during pool, uh, obviously. But let's do one more example. 7 degrees. Or right, let's do 14. Nah, 22. It's a little more of an angle. So 22 times 3 is 66. So we're going to look for the 66 degree line. And we know we're going to draw someone around this angle. Close to the tangent line, but not on the tangent line. And you see right there, it follows the rule exactly. So now let's talk about top spin or follow. So these two, this half right here is the uh, tangent line, and the bottom is the draw line, and then this is the follow line. So when you apply top spin, obviously it goes forward. Uh, so you see right here on the sheet that they give you, cue ball with maximum follow at low speed is usually between. Uh, this is about 19 degrees and 34 degrees. Uh, maximum follow is 34 degrees at a slow speed. So we're going to test that out. So our floor ball is going into that corner. Cue ball's right here. And let's put it at the 30 degree cut line, just for a reference. And that means our maximum follow with slow speed is along this 34 degree line right here. So we're going to test that out, and you see it follows right over it. I'm using maximum top spin on the IQ, maximum top spin, even above that A, with a loose wrist and a level Q, and it goes across that line. And this is called the follow zone right here. There's different degrees of follow. The lower you go on the cue ball, the lower it will go on the protractor. And then this is the cut angle. And obviously this is for US pool, so if you're playing snooker, you need to uh, get the snooker protractor uh, from poolshot.org. So let's get into some like close-up view. So right here we are going to draw. Going to be using a draw stroke, so backspin. 
Let's go along the 14 degree line. So again, our rule, multiply the cut shot angle by three to get which angle is going to draw back on. So 14 times three is, that's 42, that's 42. So we should find our 42 degree mark. So it's in between 39 and 48. So about right here on this pink is where we should draw back a little bit closer to the red than the pink, but not exactly at the 14 degree line. But we just drew right across the pink. So just maximum draw. This is maximum draw. So very, very bottom, no right or left spin, but on maximum draw, it's, it only works with maximum draw, remember that. So if we're using lower draw, let's put it back on the 14 degree. So if we're just using a little bit below center, don't have that exactly in the ghost ball lane. If we're using just a little bit below center, you see we're gonna go on closer to that tangent line. Uh, and then again, if we use follow, we're going to go into the follow zone. So maximum follow at this 30 degree mark, which is a very common angle. Maximum follow is 34 degrees, which is right here, this little lime green line. And you see we follow down that line exactly. So this really is a great tool for showing uh, and demonstrating where your cue ball will end up going. So it also works on the other side. I've been showing it to the right mostly, uh, but right here, we're on the other side of the ball. We're not on that left side cutting to the right. So if we use maximum top spin, we're still going along that 34 degree line. So if we aim to cut this ball in, our cue ball travels right down that 34 degree line. If we're using a slow speed, max top spin, and uh, no left or right English. So if you shoot harder, the follow is kind of delayed. So let's put it back at the 30 degree line. So as you go on that 34 degree line at slow speed, but you see how it bounces out and the follow doesn't take until it reaches off of that rail. So it bounces off uh, close to the tangent line since we're hitting at that fast, fast speed. So I really, really love this tool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know how I did teaching with it. Uh, you can go and check this tool out at poolshot.org. Uh, it's a really great website and they have a bunch of instructional stuff, not just this. They have so many things on their website uh, that are just, just great for learning your own game and improving your game. Uh, but I really like to shoot with this protractor. I think it's a fun little tool and it's a good visual effect. Uh, you really can see it also comes with the rules right here. You can see the rules and the uh, different like systems that you can use. Uh, you see with a 30 degree cut shot angle or half ball hit. Uh, so hitting half of the ball, it, it just leads it along these lines. So you got your aiming line, your follow zone, your tangent line, which is along the middle right here that is center or sometimes draw if you have that cut angle. Where the cue ball path with maximum draw at low speed, and that rule to determine the cue ball path with maximum draw at low speed. Three times the cut angle value, uh, so if, if it's 30 degrees, three times 30 degrees equals 90, so we're gonna draw along that tangent line if we're at the 30 degree line. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button, then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. If you guys are interested in improving your game further, I'd like to introduce you to a product called the IQ Training Ball. Now this ball right here, you see it's a little face. It's got A for above center, C for center, B for below center. And these are common contact points using English that are used in pretty much every game, if not every game. Chalk up our tip, take it out, try to hit center. you can see that we hit exactly in the center on that shot. So this is an amazing tool. I really like to use this tool. Uh, it ships everywhere. 
all countries. So if you like to order the IQ training ball, you can go to www.iqclinic.com. It's linked down in the description along with the link to poolshot.org and the protractor. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.